Just a reminder before today's programme that the previous instalment of the AMTV DVD collection is still available for you to view, that being part 10. And now, here on AMTV, we return to the DVD collection for part 11. <laughs> Hi there guys, it's Adam Martin here, and welcome back to another instalment of the AMTV DVD collection. I think we're on part 11 now, believably, and we are getting near the end. There was just a few more things I needed to cover, mainly uh, Blu-ray stuff. Uh, I'm not really, like, huge into Blu-ray yet, I've only started warming over to the format, so I don't have a lot of titles, but I have some special sets here and stuff on Blu-ray that I thought I'd show you, so... Let's get right into it. So, some people might remember this, the Godzilla set. This came out uh, recently. It's the first 15 Godzilla films, part of the Showa era from 1954 to 1975. And it's a wonderful set, you know, really lavishly produced. And I actually did a full unboxing video of it a few months ago, which I'll leave a card in the description. You can check that out. Now, this beast, Gamera. Now, I also did a video on Gamera as a as a series, but I had a Region 1 DVD back then. This is actually a Region 2 release from Arrow Video. It's a huge, chunky box set. It's got all the Gamera films, lots of special features. I'm sort of partway through it, and I might do a full unboxing of this if people want to see it, because it's a huge set to get through. So yeah, nice to have two of the titans of the like Japanese kaiju style, because I love that sort of stuff. And I mean, Gamera, these films are from 1965 to well, all the way up until 2006, but there's only 12 of them. But a really cool box set to have nonetheless. Now over here, we've got some Blu-rays and some Blu-ray steelbooks. The first of them is this, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle, a film from 2000. Now a lot of people hated this movie. It, they're trying to do like a Roger Rabbit style of the old Rocky and Bullwinkle uh, franchise, which was a thing in the 60s. It has its flaws, but I think it's really, if you get into the silliness of it, it is really funny. It's very stupid and... Uh, yeah, I just love the fact I've got it on Blu-ray. Now, some of my favourite movies. Here we have the Before Trilogy, films by Richard Linklater. And so you have Before Sunrise, Before Sunset, and Before Midnight. All of them came out nine years apart, and it has the same actors, you know, nine years on. And they're just really wonderful films like about this relationship, about these two people. And I don't want to say more because I don't want to spoil it, but if you love cinema, please go and watch the Before Trilogy. It's a really beautiful, beautiful series. And now you have Breathe, which is a film with Andrew Garfield and Claire Foy. And this packed a wallop. I mean, it's based on a true story of a young man who ends up, you know, paralysed, but then the stuff he achieves despite his uh, disabilities, if you like. Very powerful film, very heartfelt. I highly recommend it, but it probably will make you cry. Sci-fi classics now. We have The Day the Earth Stood Still from 1951. I had this as part of a DVD box set as well, but I mean, to have it on a Blu-ray steel book like this, absolutely incredible. Great artwork as well. We also have this, we have Filth, which is an Irving Welsh film, the little title thing is being left behind there. Um, yeah, if you like Train Spotting, you'll like this. James McAvoy is brilliant, it's a brilliant film in itself, but uh, very messed up, not for the faint of heart, I'll say that much. Now we've got The Florida Project, which I did want to see when it was first out in the cinema, I never got the chance to. It's about like those, you know, discount uh, hotels near Disneyland and the sort of people who have to live around there. And all those five star reviews are definitely earned, in my opinion. Really wonderful movie. More steals now. We have The Fly, the original 1958 masterpiece again. This was part of that 20th century box set, but to have it on Blu-ray steel, but like this, that's some great cover art. Quite unnerving, if you ask me, actually. One of my favourite comedies, Hot Tub Time Machine from 2010. I'm amazed this had a steelbook release at all. Um, the sequel's awful, but honestly, like, I will defend this first film. Really funny, really, like, heartwarmingly fun. Yeah, check out that first one if you haven't seen it. Also on steel, you have The Jazz Singer, which was the first film, the first talkie from 1927. A uh, very important film, very dated in many ways, but again, cool to own it on a Blu-ray steelbook. Now we have this one, Juno, from 2007, which I never saw at the time. Sort of about a girl who's going under teenage pregnancy. I'd argue bits of it have aged poorly in the last 13 years, but as a film itself, it holds up really, really well. So check out Juno. We've also got the first kick-ass film. I did like the second one, but the first one, when that came out, man, I thought it was one of the funniest things I'd ever seen in my life, and I'm glad I own this on Blu-ray steel. You have the Lego movie, which is brilliant. I haven't seen the second part yet, but the first film is so, so brilliant. Such a clever concept, very simple concept, but it is just absolutely wonderful to have the special Blu-ray steelbook set. So check out the first Lego movie if you haven't seen it as well. 
You have Money Monster starring George Clooney and Julia Roberts. A lot of people were mixed on this film. I quite liked it. It was only cheap to get on Blu-ray Steel as well. You have Mothra, the original Mothra from 1961. This is a uh, Region 1 import, actually, uh, but it played fine on, on my device. Um, yeah, the original Mothra, it's, it's all right. Maybe not as fast-paced as some of the other films of the era for kaiju stuff, but nice to have, nonetheless. And I also have the Rebirth of Mothra, 1, 2, and 3. These were the three 90s Mothra films. Again, it's a Region 1 import, so you've got to make sure you have the right machine. But really cool to own some Mothra alongside Godzilla and Gamera. You have, um, what's that, my week with Marilyn, starring uh, Michelle Williams and Eddie Redmayne and Kenneth Branagh. Basically about when Marilyn Monroe came over to England to film with um, Laurence Olivier and how this guy got intertwined with her. It's quite a, quite a fun little film. Nice to have. Now I've got some Pet Shop Boys, one of my favourites, of course. This is Inner Sanctum. This is a recording of their 2017 concerts at the Royal Albert Hall which are incredible, the, their visual spectacle, their sound is wonderful. And did you know they had a film? This is It Couldn't Happen Here, which was originally released in 1988, available only on VHS for the longest time, and then finally they decided to put it out onto Blu-ray. It's a BFI release, and I'm glad it's here because I need to watch this again in high definition. You got Speed Racer. This one was like 50p, and I do want to watch this again. I did see it at the cinema when I was like 10 or 12, and I liked it, and I want to see if I'm going to like it again, so that's why I have that. And then finishing off the steals, we have one of my favourite films, as you all remember from a previous DVD part. It's The Terminator, the first one. Anyway, I do want to try and get the second one on a Blu-ray steelbook as well, as that is my favourite movie ever, but alas, I don't have it yet, and they're going to fall. They're a bit precarious, as you can see. I'm desperately running out of space to put things, but... That is my small collection of Blu-rays slash steels that I've seen so far, including the mammoth sets of Gamera and Godzilla as well. I suppose just to round off, this technically counts. This is the Doctor Who shelf, I'm sure as many of you know. Uh, behind the steelbooks is all the classic series of Doctor Who, including some of the Blu-ray sets there as well. I've got the um, animated stories that have steelbooks, or as many as I can at least. So I've got Power of the Daleks, Macro Terror, Faceless Ones, and Fury from the Deep. Got a lot of Daleks there. Got the new series on Steelbook, series 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. They've just, at the time I'm recording this, they just announced season 7, which I've pre-ordered. And I've got season 10 as well. There is a season 9 steel, though it's very expensive. I hope they re-release it. Got more of the Blu-ray sets there, some of the spin-off stuff. You've got series 11 and series 12 of the new series as well. So that's the Doctor Who shelf. I've got a ton of Doctor Who VHS up there. And now this, this is a very interesting, this is like the last little bit. These are DVDs I haven't yet watched. And the thing is, they're doubled up, so there's more DVDs behind this row. I'm not going to get them all out because that would take, well, quite literally forever. But let's just see what we can see. So I've got a few DVD steals I haven't looked at, like Greatest of a Gangsters, Romantic Comedies. Or Get Carter, The Great Escape. Yes, I haven't seen that. Some Hitchcock there. Some more modern stuff, like If Beale Street Could Talk. Got Last Action Hero, The Lives of Others, Lord of the Flies. It really puts into perspective how much I just haven't got around to seeing it. There's only so much time in my day. You know, you got Twins and White Heat and The Wrong Man. There's some Blu-rays over here, um, like G Ghostbusters, for example. Yeah, I've got Good Omens, the TV series on Steelbook. I need to see that. I've got uh, The Last House on the Last House on the Left. I need to see the Wes Anderson film, American Hustle, Hateful Eight, Irving Welsh's Ecstasy, and some more DVDs behind there. So there's really, you know, there's a fair amount I haven't watched, but that is partly why I don't put them on the shelves. I want to keep separate what I have and haven't watched. But that really, that last little bit, closes off what I own on DVD, and I guess by some extension, Blu-ray. But yes, I hope you've enjoyed this video, uh, looking at the final remnants of my. DVD collection. It's been a been a mammoth ride starting all the way over there and finishing here But if you enjoyed it, please leave a like on this video. Let me know in the comments Do you like what you see here? Do you think there's some movies over there that I need to get around to ASAP? As I said guys, I hope you've really enjoyed the DVD Collection starting off with this big old shelf. It's been a mammoth series But I really hope it's something you've been into and I might do regular collection updates if I get anything substantial But that is all for now. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one I will see you guys next time. A massive thank you to our producer and director patrons for your support towards us here at AMTV. You just help keep us going, and that's massively appreciated. And that does bring us to the end of another evening here on AMTV. We hope you enjoyed the program, and we hope to see you next time. Good night.